earlier when we discussed the various programs we discussed a program to find the roots of quadratic equation and the code is shown here we wrote like this but here there was a problem when we run the code and gave random coefficients say 1 2 3 you got answer like this at that time we realized that real roots are obtained only when b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 so we gave coefficients like that but if there is difference we will not get the correct value so to edit the code or to modify the code we can use if statement so this is the condition if b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 then only you will get real roots if it is less than 0 what will happen roots are imaginary so we are going to modify the code d is equal to b square minus 4ac here you are going to give a condition what's the condition if d less than 0 you are going to give a print print f roots are imaginary and not real you can give a message like this else only if this condition is not satisfied it has to proceed with calculating the roots so the rest of the things we can put in else okay you can put how to calculate the roots that can be put inside this else statement okay so what does this mean first b square minus 4ac was calculated then after that if d is less than 0, you just print roots are imaginary. Else, else means d is greater than or equal to 0. If that be the case, uh, square root of d is calculated and then roots are calculated and roots are printed. Now, let's execute the code. So, now if you give 1, 2, 3, roots are imaginary and not real. Okay, now if you want to uh, get the roots like if b square minus 4 is e greater than 0, you can give like 1, Now you got the real values. Okay, so now we modified the code such that it makes more sense. Otherwise, when we give coefficients such that when discriminant or b square minus 4 is less than 0, what will happen? You will get a wrong answer. So to avoid that, now you use if else statement. And now the program to calculate the roots of quadratic equation is this, uh, the correct one. Okay. Now let's discuss another program, say to find the quadrant. Let's write the program to find the a point is in which quadrant, say point coordinate, let it be x and y. If x, y both are positive, it is first quadrant. Okay, it will be first quadrant. Then second quadrant, hope you remember this. Okay. So here x, so here both x, y positive. Okay, here x is negative, y is positive. So this is second quadrant. In third quadrant, both are negative. In fourth quadrant, x positive and y negative. Okay, so this is the quadrant. So now we are going to write a program to check in which quadrant is that particular point so let's write that so int x y then printf we need the value from the user slash n enter x and y coordinates of the point Okay, so enter x and y coordinates of the point. So, scan of using scan of we are getting the value. Say both are integer values. So, it is percentage d, percentage d. We need the values of x and y and we use ampersand x, ampersand y. So, now you got the values of x and y from the user. Now, we are trying to 
check each condition. So, if it is origin, we have to write it as origin. So, you write, say, if x equals equals 0 and and y equals equals 0, printf slash and the point is origin. Okay, this is the first condition. Else if. So, here why we are using else if because only if first condition is not satisfied, it needs to go to the second condition. Okay, if it is origin, there is no need to check for the quadrant. So, else if second condition is x greater than 0 and and y greater than 0. That means when both x and y are positive. So, what will happen? Printf point is in first quadrant. So, if both are positive, we can say that it is in first quadrant. And we can give brackets here as we are uh, checking for two conditions and both conditions need to be satisfied. So, you can give brackets like this. Next case, else if. So, why we are using else if? It's like a ladder. Only if the above conditions are not satisfied, it needs to go to the next condition. Okay. Else if x greater than 0 and and y less than 0, what will happen? x is positive and y is negative. That means it is fourth quadrant. It is in fourth quadrant. Else if x less than 0 and and y greater than 0. So, this means x is negative and y is positive. That is second quadrant. It is second quadrant and all the cases are uh, included. So, the last case is third quadrant. So, all the above conditions are not satisfied, then only it will go to the last condition. So, there is no need for else if and we can give else printf slash n point is in third quadrant. Okay. So, let's Save this and execute. X and Y say 1, 2. It's in first quadrant. Again, we'll check say 0, 0. Point is origin. Then let's check say minus 1, minus 4. So it is with both are negative. So it will be in third quadrant. Okay. Then we will check say 9 and minus 5. That means x is positive and y is negative. That's fourth quadrant. Next is we have a negative x, negative x and positive y which will be second quadrant. So, this is how we write a program to get the x and y coordinates and find out in which quadrant 
is the particular point. So, first case, if both are 0, the point is origin. Else if means if it is origin, there is no need to go for the rest of the conditions. It will just go to the last statement. After else, what happens? It will go to that statement. If this is not satisfied, it will check if both are positive. Both are positive, first quadrant. If this is not satisfied, then only it will move to this part. Then x is positive and y is negative. What will happen? It will go to point is in fourth quarter. So, step by step it is verified and if all these conditions are not satisfied, it will go to else and that statement will be executed. So, this is a simple example program using if, else, if and you remember else and if there is a space in between. Okay. And when we use if, else, if the last statement should be else, a default statement should be given for else that is if the above conditions are not satisfied we should give a provision so that is given with else